Hello and welcome back to BattleTech. We're making uh, we're making waves. We're making progress. We're breaking ground. I don't know. We're other other things. You know, all of the things. We're doing all of the things. Um, oh, nice. I'm glad. I'm good. Good for that. Um, here's here's my plan. I mean, we're getting kind of like all the the goals I set out to achieve um, a few episodes ago, like improve the weaponry of all of our mechs they're pretty much come to fruition the only thing i would maybe like to improve on is having more uh double heat sinks those just seem to be amazing and uh just objective improvements all around there is one thing i do want though it costs five million um credits whatever currency we're using um and uh i, I do really want it uh is the tts for uh ballistics <sighs> If we had that, then basically the Annihilator would just uh, rock uh, on a completely new level. I mean, it would be, be better, for sure. In Navigation, Samire highlights a blinking red alert in the Argo's path. We've got some space junk in our way, Commander. Permission to blast it to dust with the Leopard? Debris, Dr. Murad corrects her. I recommend that we attempt to avoid it. Otherwise, you risk sending the debris in unexpected directions. You could damage our most vital systems and bays. Samaya rolls her eyes. The Argo isn't exactly an agile ship. I mean, I'm good, but she's never going to turn on a dime. We've got about five minutes, roughly. We need a decision. Force more power to the engines. <laughs> the Argo lurches forward dangerously as Dr. Murad manages to squeeze some extra thrust from the power conduits. Samaya wrestles with the control panel, but the Argo veers unpredictably close to the debris. Metal shrieks. Before she can correct course, jagged wreckage scrapes across the hull. After the Argo reaches a safe distance, Dr. Murad reports into navigation over the comms. While some scrap metal got caught in the debris shield, the collision didn't damage any major components. I'll run a full diagnostic to be sure. I've used every trick I know. I, I used every trick I knew to get us through that mess in one piece, Samara explains. And you succeeded, you say. This was a calculated risk, but no one should have maneuvered the ship better than you, Samara. No one could have. No lasting consequences, exactly as planned. Waypoint reached, Commander. Visit the store of Herotis. Herotitis. We got an assassin, we got an Orion, we got an Irvin Mech, we got an Ur LRM-20. Sure do wish I hadn't taken that LRM-20 when uh, there were other more interesting things. Um, black Market. Pretty sure this is where I saw the TTS. We've got a Cyclops this is 10Z. Pretty sure that's the one I've got one part for. Um, Banshee. Banshee wouldn't be bad. It's got six lasers. Victor, Zeus, AC5++++. ER, PPC++. Six million credits. Um, Gauze rifle plus plus. LRM ten plus plus plus. LRM twenty plus plus plus. Actually, kind of tempting on that. Narc beacon. Plus seventy five percent damage. Mark. Missile. What does that mean? Uh, designated designed to sing, fire a single highly specialized missile that deploys a homing beacon upon impact. The attached beacon transmits data to allied units, causing the linked target to receive increased damage from subsequent missile. Oh, that seems amazing, actually. Where's my TTS? Where is my TTS? Is it gone? Ah. Oh. God damn it. Just god damn it. The TTS was here, I am very sure. I think that the shop... Um resupplied <sighs> well what are we gonna do instead um i like the snark beacon i kind of want to grab that and put it to slap it on something it is three tons though uh, the thing is, is what kind of uh, ammo does this take i wish it would tell me like anywhere where does okay there's narc ammo there so we we could buy this let's buy it and a narc narc ammo i don't know what i'm gonna put this on we are running down to our, uh, to fairly low on money, no? C 
could put it on the we know we could put it on the king crab um doesn't the annihilator the annihilator has no missile slots unfortunately that's a darn shame because this oh uh, never mind i was thinking that uh it had something else um we could put it on the king crab doesn't seem like a bad place to put it we could put it on the highlander but i kind of like what the highlighter's got we could put it on the battle master um srm6 is three tons so it wouldn't be a bad idea to put it on there um hmm yeah maybe i feel like the battle master has a better chance of using it maybe because it i have decker running around in that um so let's take off the srm66 or sorry srm6 plus plus and we'll take off that we're gonna put on uh the narc beacon and give this thing narc ammo where is that And we're gonna buy back a little bit of armor, and that's gonna be good. We can just leave it at that. I don't think that there's much way we can improve that. I guess, uh, yeah, no, this is good. I'm good with this. So let's have a look at some missions. I mean, from here on, I mean, the only thing we can do is, like, buy, you know, extended range for certain weapons like PPCs. But I think we're just kind of biding time until our next campaign contract. But we'll have a look at our missions. We'll do a couple of, of missions. Corporate secrets. Pride and vanity. Family associated with local pirate organization has been threatening... Military action against the Canopian. What is this? Who is this against? Oh, we have a hard contact. Hard contact. Pretty good payout. Who is this against? Oh, why is it always going to be against the only faction I care about? If we do this mission, then our pirate... Um, reputation is like gone but our magistracy of Can Canopus is going to be actually pretty good um all right let's do it oh weird I didn't realize that I didn't realize that if you do missions for like more money then you lose less reputation but if we take less money... Oh, I see. If we take less rewards, we can do it for just reputation. Oh, that's interesting. Didn't realize that, actually. Why don't we do it... Um, I mean, this is going to be a fairly hard mission. We, could, we should do it for parts, maybe. Let's do it for parts. I like the setup we were in. Oh, we're gonna. Oh God, I I do this a lot, don't I? Is I take the mission, but I have to wait for repairs. Sorry about that. All right, let's just wait real quick. It should only be yeah two days. There we go. Back to the contract. Um, hard contact. Now we want. Um, is it pride and vanity? And we'll take all parts and we'll give it our best shot everyone's good everyone's in their preferred mech a little bit worried about this it's gonna be spicy three and a half stars is when things get start to get like really difficult um and it's i've actually had to give up on one mission because it was just too much but it might have been just like my poor tactics already Command interface initiated. you've reached the pirate family's territory be on the lookout for reinforcements we'll need to eliminate all enemy forces that take the field don't be complacent if the mechs look a little worse for wear they can still kill you what are those trees <laughs> what the 
What a very out of left field line of dialogue for Medusa. What are those trees? <laughs> That's just really funny to me for some reason. Oh God, that is really good. And because it's, it's like, it sounds so bad, but it, it, for some reason that makes it more funny. I don't like how we're heading towards uh, these guys uphill. There's an 80 ton mech. Sorry, not mech. Um, car. Vehicle. Not a car. All vehicles are cars, apparently. Okay, the Battlemaster is... Oh, God. Okay, we got two pretty spicy vehicles. Um... The Medusa, sorry, Decker is probably going to want to move up and do a sensor lock since they can't hit. They're the close range. You know how this goes. Not much has changed. There's a 70 ton and an 80 ton. Let's try and hit that 80 ton. Demolisher. I think we're going to get some nice weaponry from this uh, mission. I have high hopes. Well, we can't hit with the um, Annihilator, so we'll just have to run in and try and make sure we're in cover. Um, we can hit with the Crab. This is kind of disappointing. A little bit. Try and hit something specific. Uh, we don't have a little... Well, we've got... If we could hit it from the back, obviously that would be ideal, but I think we'll just aim for the side because that's where the least armor is. We didn't even expose it. Probably a waste of a precise shot, TBH. And we don't have a precise shot for the mech with like much more firepower long range. That's a dang shame. We still didn't expose it. Well, shucks. I don't think they'll be able to hit us unless they sensor lock us, which they definitely could. Orders. But now we can, we don't have to do a sensor lock, and we can actually do some. A new sensor trace. Oh no. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Okay. Well, that's not good. This thing's got a lot of firepower. Good lord. Um, we'll hit it. We don't have to hit it with the narc beacon, but we can see what that does. Oh, apparently we killed it. So that was a waste of a narc beacon. And unfortunately, we killed the one thing we can see. So now... And with our close range mech. Oh, that was such a dumb, dumb misplay, wasn't it? Uh, okay, let's get our crab to um, do a sensor lock because it doesn't really have great firepower. Dominis, save her off. Sensor lock on target. Okay, we got a 65 ton mech. Enemy sensor lock oh god, that's not good. You don't want to be sensor locked. Ah, uh, did it turn around? No, it's okay. We're good. I would like to take that thing out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Uh, still alive. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ouch. Good to go. Still, still can't see anything. Why? Can you? There's such, such little minor... UI things in this game that kind of bug me. Inter Inferno Carrier. I'm assuming that thing has flamers. Oof. Shotguns. That does actually really nasty damage. Yeah, the Battlemaster is the only thing in view, so it's going to take the brunt of a lot of hits. If we could back up. <clears throat> slightly and try and hit that inferno i really hate that that sm whatever it was smb 
is still hanging out somewhere would like to be able to shoot this shrek ppc carrier kind of feel like i should double down a little bit all weapons are go if i hit it with the missile that's good okay cool we hit it with the missile oh we got four mechs good to go. coming up here all right we definitely want to hit that shrek Donkey. All right. We don't need to hit it with anything too powerful. We should be able to do some really decent damage with just like an AC-10. So I'll do an AC-10 on that. Um, we'll dedicate... Okay, let's do... UAC-10 on the Demolisher. It's almost dead. So we don't, it doesn't need anything too spicy either. Um... AC-10 on the Shrek. And uh, AC-10 on the Inferno Carrier. And we'll do another five. And I guess we'll dedicate... Um, we'll do the UACs, both UACs to the Demolisher. Just, just on the off chance. Uh -huh. That did not do it to the Shrek. We did kill um, the Demolisher. We did kill that vehicle. I was a, I'm a little uh, disappointed that we didn't take out the Shrek. Oof. Orders. Gonna jump up and um, we're gonna need to absolutely take out that Shrek. We'll do another multi-hit. And I'll just do the gauze rifle on the uh, Shrek. Should be enough. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, we got an Orion. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. The fact that we're not able to hit with like our most powerful stuff on the on the crab kind of sucks. We can shoot from there. That's actually not a terrible shot. I'm going to try and take out the catapult, or at least, like, do some damage to it. Uh, we got the LRM ammo on that left torso. Let's go for that less left torso. Nice. Good hits. Good hits. Knockdown. Good. The Orion's going to be tough. That's, that's like an 85-ton mech. Got a griffin. Uh, it's not too bad. Yes, Commander. Not gonna um, te step up too far. We're gonna try and take out the catapult. We've got a good line of sight here. I'm not gonna hit it with the, the narc beacon. We'll just hit it in the torso. Wow, all of those hit like perfectly. Is that a Bremen? That, was that three PPCs? I hear ya. Okay, the Annihilator has a lot of armor, so we can actually start doing stuff with the Annihilator. Um, we don't have great line of sight here. This is actually better in some ways. So we can start hitting that Rifleman. We do want to hit the Rifleman. It has a better chance of tearing into us than maybe anything else. I'm going to leave the UAC on for the time being. We are generating some heat, but that's okay. Because, like, we do want to take breaks with the uh, auto cannons. This should be good. Nice. Yeah, critical hit. That was, that was really good. Oh, God. A lot of hits on that arm. My internals are taking a beating. 
Yeah, we don't want to be there anymore. We should be able to hit the Orion. I really want to try and take out that Rifleman. This is actually better positioning because, like, if I have not great line of sight on them, that means maybe the same for them. Kind of hoping that that would be enough to kill it, but, you know, I guess not. Uh, we can do a multi-hit here. I might be able to take out the uh, Rifleman. <sighs> yeah. I guess it would be a good idea to do, do so. I don't think I want to do de like dedicate this much. Only got 84 health, so in theory this should be enough to kill it if both land, and it's 95% chance, so I would bet on it. How come that didn't kill it? Did they not both land on the uh, torso? Crab is taking hits. That's okay, it can take some hits. Waiting for orders. The, um... Okay. Let's actually our uh, the battle master. I thought it took some nasty hits. That was probably the Highlander. I'm thinking of yeah, the Highlander is not great. Um, I'll move up a little bit. I really just want to take out that. Rifleman. We're going to overheat, so let's take off a couple of these. Should be enough. It's only got four health left. In fact, let's just hit it with like two of these. Let's hit it, shoot it with the two that matter. Like the two that can actually hit. And then we'll make up a lot of our heat back. Firing. There we go. Perfect. We can't, I don't think we can multi-hit with Decker. So I, I, you know, prefer to do something like that. Oof. We need to take out that Orion. Oh, and I, I took a hit to the head. Okay, the Griffin sucks, but the Orion is the part we care about. Um, I have a pretty okay chance of hitting the leg. Better chance of hitting the torso. Um, this thing's got a lot of ammo somewhere. All in that left torso. Let's uh, go for that left torso. LRM-15 crit, that's something. Uh, we should be, we have a good line of sight on that left shoulder. So we should be able to hit it here really nicely. I mean, that's great because like when you blow off the arm with the gauze rifle and then all the other missiles are hitting the torso That's just like really decent damage there So we are generating some heat. So I'm gonna take off the UAC right now um, Just to recover I guess if we took off like the AC5 like we don't need to hit this with everything We're probably gonna kill it right here it does have quite a bit of armor. I'm, I'm comfortable with this amount. If it all hits, oh, only a 46% 40, chance. All right, we'll, we'll put the AC5 back on. on there. We got lucky with those hits. Um, but, you know, there's nothing saying we, we, we could have missed pretty badly. Crab has taken some hits, but Crab's got tons of armor left. So we're good there. I'm actually, I am going to sprint away. Um, for a moment with the crab just to generate some, uh, get some of our health, uh, heat back. The, what is this? The Highlander is a little rough, but I think we can move up and, uh, hit the Griffin. Okay. What do we got here? Only a 5% chance. It's got LRM-10 and PPC. LRM-10 ammo in the right torso. So let's go for that right torso. Okay. 
LRM ammo destroyed. Right arm destroyed. Perfect. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Um, you know what? Let's uh, take off some stuff here, and then just hit it with you uh, like auto cannon tens. Actually, honestly, we could just hit it with the UAC ten and um, get some of our heat back. We killed it. Oh, we hit it in the head. Lethal hit to the head. Amazing. Mission successful. That was great. For, uh, was it three and a half stars? That went very well. We did take a little bit of damage. But, um, I think honestly that that payout will, will cover the costs. Um... The only one I got, got injured was me, but uh, because of the cockpit mod, um, I believe that it didn't count. We, you can take two hits with the cockpit mod before it, it actually counts as an injury. Um, so we have a UAC, or sorry, AC 10 plus plus. We have an LRM 10 plus plus. We have a PPC plus plus with stability damage. Yes, that's what I like. We still haven't gotten an LB, uh, LB10X. That's kind of a bummer, but you know, I'm getting really good stuff here. And we got, we could get taken a Ryan part. Uh, so only a 75 ton. Eh. eh. Could take us SRM2 plus plus. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll take the Orion part. I can, it, it's worth money. And we got three Griffin parts. We just built a Griffin. I can sell that. That's worth money. We did get a ton, like, it's, besides the four cherry pick, I think we got like 11 to 12 parts. So, yeah, our odds of getting a lot of mech parts were pretty good. So we did build a mech. We can um, just sell it for some cash. Griffin 1Ns use their jump jets to stay at range and pelt their opponents from relative safety. 1Ns can run hot if they spend all their time bounding around the battlefield taking pot shots though. We're going to need to do some mech repairs. Our mech warriors are gaining XP. Let's go ahead and do that first. Spend our XP. Um, Big Simple can take a couple points in piloting. Piloting isn't super interesting. IMO. Uh, Decker can take gunnery, which is quite nice. Last point in gunnery. Uh, Glitch can take that final point in guts and take some piloting. And Medusa, Medusa's making his way to uh, mastering tactics. So let's sell that griffin. I might strip it. If it has anything interesting. If it has any interesting parts, I might strip it. It's got a PPC. It's got nothing. Sell it. 400,000. Basically, that would that is the payout of that mission. How much is it going to cost to repair the Highlander? Not even 10,000. Amazing. I mean, uh, that was a really good mission, actually. We'll do one more contract. I could take this hard contact, but it is, you know, we're taking a hit to the Capellan Confederate. Um, could do four of 19 parts again. Yeah, I think that that would be worth it. Again, I'm gonna, I was almost gonna do that and then uh, I realized we have to wait on the Highlander. Um, but we can have a quick look at the store. I don't know if there's anything I haven't already looked at that I would want to take. Highlander parts are 12 million each. That is a little absurd. Wait a minute, what? Oh, okay. Uh, I think that, yeah. <laughs> Our reputation with pirates is now so bad that I actually can't buy anything from the black market ever again. 
we have bought our last thing from the black market their price increase is now a thousand percent they hate us so absolutely that they will like basically never sell us anything at an affordable price ever again so that is the last we last time we look at the black market i can't seem to recover my reputation with the, the pirates and i don't mean to try uh, at this point so from here on in um unless i'm like really strapped for cash i'm going to be taking contracts uh with the sole intention of getting as many parts as possible and taking in um you know fairly exotic weaponry um let me see can mandrake swap some swap in maybe because i you know they could stand to gain some experience i think i could maybe swap in for medusa medusa isn't exactly like medusa is fine uh and you know so is the highlander it's nothing special really so we'll swap in mandrake for the highlander uh just to make sure they're getting experience i should probably swap in bug at some point but this could be another tough mission, so I don't necessarily want to take risks. This is the problem, like, once you get at this point in the game, like, I, I don't really want to train up a new recruit. I think having one, like, I have one really good spare, and then I have another, like, a bad spare. And then at some point, I will, like, if I'm really desperate, I might have to train up someone completely new. But, uh, yeah. All right. Let's, uh... Oh, shoot. Mandrake only has three hit points. We're approaching the enemy drop site. Commander, eyes peeled. Take care moving forward as we are expecting heavy resistance. Don't take this lightly. They know we're coming. Okay. Ready for action. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, is that radiation? It's just marsh. Okay, we don't have to worry about that too much we do have some nice water water that we can take advantage of uh, if we could follow the water it wouldn't be a bad idea also there's more water over there might be better to go over there and make use of that water for cooling purposes Rough terrain, stability damage. Copy that. We don't want to accidentally bump into the lance. There's two lances in this mission, apparently. Okay. We seem pretty fast. Uh -huh. I know we're sprinting, but still, I've, I've sprinted before in these mechs and not made much ground. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this, um, On the move. this route. Just kind of making our way oh, yeah. downtown. You betcha. Nothing. Location confirmed. Nothing yet. Okay. There we go. We got a 45 and a 40. Nothing. It's nothing. Heading out. But, I mean, those are, like, the heavy mech equivalents of scouts. We got a 40-40. Oh, okay, we got a 75. Something was visible for exactly a split second there. Um, we can get a line of sight on those guys. The 40 and the 45, so why not? We got the Vindicator, a Vindicator and an Assassin. Let's hit the Vindicator with the, since we we can't do a multi-hit, we'll hit him with the Narc Beacon. Giving him everything I've got. We did hit him with the Narc Beacon, so we should be able to take them out this turn. Uh oh. Ow! That's a Thunderbolt. Reporting major armor loss. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, I should have reserved, I guess. I'm a little bit um, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Don't need to tell me twice. I don't know why I moved out of the water. The entire point was that I didn't have to do that. I am amazed it took all of that. With the narc beacon, we should have, like... I really feel like that should have taken it out. 
I guess we didn't have a precision shot lined up, so. Yeah, we're not, this isn't great right now. Kind of went all in on this Vindicator, but it wasn't exactly worth it. Okay, that's the Vindicator destroyed. At least we, uh, we did make it worth it. Okay, I'm gonna start going in on this. Oh, we got an Orion as well. Thunderbolt. I'm just gonna lay it on them. I didn't think we'd expose them, but, uh, you know. You never know. Maybe. Uh oh. Is that a second lance over there? God, another 70 ton. Oh my God. So that's not the one that just fired on us. So we have another heavy over there. Okay, that bas bat uh, battle master has to back up. Good Lord. Okay. Wow. Okay, this sucks. This is, this is bad. Minimal damage on that hit. They are like all of them hitting the battle master. So... Yeah, no kidding. We're gonna we're gonna back up. Firing jump jet. Um don't actually want to do a precision shot. We're just gonna take the shot that we have. Acknowledge. They got narked. Good lord, are they still going after the Battlemaster? That seems a little unreasonable. <laughs> Warning. Armor low. Um, we have hit the Thunderbolt. I would like to take it out if I can. Yeah, this is not great. Um, we've got a bunch of weaponry. Uh, we got the ammo on that right torso. Do we have anything? No, uh, where, where is the majority? A majority of its stuff is, I guess, in its torso, sort of. Where is all of its weapon? I guess in the right torso. Okay, we'll hit it in the right torso. All weapons committed. Knockdown, nice. Um, I might have to like undo this mission. Why why? Why why are they just going for the battle master? Waiting for orders. This like come on. <laughs> this happened once before and I had to undo the mission because it was just like ridiculous. Um yeah, we're gonna go for that torso. Is that is that it destroyed nice? I hear ya. Okay, we're gonna back up. We're gonna try and take out that um assassin. Let's do a precision shot to take out the assassin. Nice. Okay. Swear to God, if they continue hitting the Battlemaster. Okay, good. That's, that's something. I mean, this isn't good either, make no mistake, but. Jesus. How many are we fighting? I don't, I, don't, I like, I don't, like, sometimes these three and a half star missions are really all over the place for difficulty because like you know we fought one and it was like it's fine like there's nothing really too spicy about it and then we do this one and it's like jesus christ like just an absurd amount of stuff going on oh are you kidding me i took one step back and now we can't see the 75 ton mech right in front of us Okay, that is really frustrating. I wish I had better better information about when that's going to happen.
because now we can't do anything literally we are a, a sitting duck now i might just send, yeah you know what I, I i this mission is is really actually cheesing me off we're not doing this like i haven't lost anything yet but um it's it's just not working for me you have to forgive me for that one when they when like literally every single enemy mech is only going in on one mech i kind of don't care what happens like it, it is actually just bad luck and i it's also just really frustrating because there's nothing you can do about it um but like if we like as soon as we lost the bot battle master there we were three mechs against like five and it just wasn't gonna work out we can try again i don't i guess i don't mind trying again but it just i don't know i think i'd like to try almost anything else three and a half stars are such a mixed bag what is this one against Torian Concordant? Yeah, let's do that. Three stars and Torian Concordant. I, I, I can I can live with that. What a what a miserable mission. Uh wait, what? Oh I see. Yeah, we can't do any of these because we're hated. As Dorian enters the morning briefing room, he slams the door behind him. Those filthy, no good back backstabbing pirates. Yang tries desperately to keep a straight face. How do you really feel, Darius? The Exo takes a deep breath. If we want to retain our access to the black markets, we're being asked none too politely to pay another membership fee. Yeah, okay. I mean, like, I already couldn't use the black market, so... I guess it's time for Iron Beard to finally go legit. I think that's that kind of sucks honestly like i already couldn't make use of the black market so just let me look at it i guess but since we couldn't buy anything i guess it makes sense to just not have the black market sucks um maybe in a future playthrough i'll go hard on uh you know backing the pirates but uh you know i do want to see other things too i do think that if like one faction is just objectively the correct one um because we gain access to like an entire market i think that that's that's kind of lame um so i i'd like to not think that way and actually just like see what other factions have to offer in terms of benefits i don't know what those are um it's hard to tell but so far the black market has definitely seemed like the only or the most like major one i'll do a pause all right this shouldn't be too bad should be easier anyway assault the base and destroy enough of it to force the torians to abandon the location we should expect long, strong opposition on this one be wary okay okay let's do this let's do this uh... i copy i read you commander moving out coordinates received We've got a kind of a better terrain gotcha, advantage at this time. We've got even a little bit of cover. Coordinates received. That's not really what I wanted, but that's Heading fine. We've got a 55 ton. We should be able to take that down. I guess we don't really want to be this out in the open. Am I doing that thing again? Yeah, I'm doing that thing again where I think I'm moving on terrain, but I'm actually moving on to a cliff. Oof. I do kind of wish we'd have like a um, terrain outline that better shows these kind of things. Almost like a board game style. <laughs> Got a four, 45 ton mech. Probably didn't do a great thing moving up this close. What can I do so can we you? move down from here? No, we can't. 
So I'm gonna have to move backwards. Ugh. I'm having a hard time with this game today. Um SRM6, nothing too spicy on the Wolverine. What do we got? SRM6 uh, ammo. Let's do that. Take this. Wow. Took it out. Nice. Bang, you're dead. At least I can jump down from here. Let's see if we can't hit uh, that 45. God's rifle. Oh, it's a Phoenix Hawk. I don't think I've ever seen a Phoenix Hawk. Targeting for an alpha. Vectored thrust kit. Targeting what was that? Destroyed. Well, that kind of sucks. I kind of wouldn't mind seeing what that was and collecting it. Acknowledged. I'm not going to narc the uh, Phoenix Hawk. I don't think it's worth it. Probably take this out on the next round. Affirmative. If not this round. We can technically get in the water. Everyone in the pool. Yeah, this works. Sure. All weapons committed. Knocked it down. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. I know it's uh, easy to complain about having one of my mechs picked on when that's generally speaking my tactic every single time. But since I know that it is luck based, like it's, you know, there's not really any predictable AI in terms of who they attack, then I just know that it sucks. Like it's just bad luck. And so I'm less inclined to, I don't know, treat it with much um, respect. I don't really have much respect for a mission that goes that way. Maybe I should. Maybe I'm, I'm wrong to, you know, look at it that way. Okay, uh, let's actually have Decker fire first because then he can uh, narc. Let's narc the Shadow Hawk. Roger. I'm not sure if there's any. He's got an AC5 and an SRM2 and an LRM. He's got like everything, a little bit of everything. And they all explode. Let's hit him in that, I guess, the left torso. Narc attached. Critical hit, Commander. Uh, okay. I don't know if the thing that it attached to, if it gets destroyed, does that mean it goes away? On the move. We should be able to hit it pretty hard. And we did hit it pretty hard. And that, I think, killed it? Tango down. Good to go. Okay, we're still moving off of that cliff face. Don't need to tell me twice. We'll take off the UAC uh, 10. I think everything else is fine. Oh, I got that PPC++ with stability. I should uh, put that on. Light damage. Holding firm. Um, we don't have to narc that thing. That. Wow, this thing, this cliff sucks so much. Got it. We'll turn back the UAC. This should be good. Cool. Scratch another, Scratch another target. There we go. I love, uh, honestly, the auto cannons are just so satisfying. All right, we're going to sprint up ahead. There's definitely more. And we also have to hit the base, right? Moving out. Position confirmed. So we've got turrets. Do we have a turret generator? If we do, I don't see it. Okay, we're gonna have to I guess I didn't realize we couldn't walk through this whole thing. So we're just we're just gonna sprint around. Acknowledged. Waiting for orders. 
try I tried really hard to get a line of sight on that uh, turret but it looks like we didn't get it and so it's probably gonna be able to hit us but you know not the other way around You know, I, I know I've been talking a lot, uh, well not a lot, I've mentioned this a few times in this series, but I think that bipeds are kind of a really weird idea for mechs in general. And it just occurred to me, you know what would make more sense? Is, I feel like actually um, spider mechs would make more sense. Like I'm thinking about the crab and I'm like, you know what doesn't make sense about the crab? The fact that it's only got two legs. If it had like eight to ten legs, wouldn't that, uh, you know, wouldn't that make more sense in general? And having given it some thought, wouldn't that make sense for, like, basically all mechs? Because, like, you know, you blow one leg off and it's got, like, seven spares. You'd have to have really good, um, like, AI computers, right? Like, they'd have to learn, know how to adapt. You know how like you'll see uh, d developers show off their their cool tech where it's like um, kind of procedural animation where uh, like you can give something as many legs as you want and then it just knows how to walk. You'd have to have uh, like computers that know how to do that but with their actual Bye. mechs. And I mean, I, I think that that's, you know, pretty possible. Bye. But it, uh, I feel like it would make more sense than bipedal mechs because it's like you blow off one leg and suddenly the thing is a liability, you know? Oh, yeah. Enemy structure we, yeah, structure we blew it up. We blew it up. Damn you. All right, um, moving around with the crab, I guess. Crabbing it up. That's two large lasers. We're gonna take more hits. Mm. Oh, we do have a, a lance of mechs coming over here. That's kind of a bummer. Ready for orders. Uh, I do want to. I mean, I, I want to try and hit something else. Got it. Locked on target. Is that gonna do it? That did do it. Nice. Oh no! Is this a repeat of the same mission? <laughs> they just sensor locked the uh... Oh god, we have an Orion. What is it with like... I, I, I'm like seeing uh, Orions like non-stop. Let's start hitting it. We have a really good line of sight on it actually. Um, Definitely we'll hit it in that shoulder. We'll hit it with everything. That was really good. Knocked a few parts off of it. Um, we've actually got a really good position here. Cause, oh, this is, I thought I was using the, the crab. Well, that sucks. Cause I was like, oh, we could like shoot this last building. Um, and you know, with the gauze rifle and then lob some missiles over, but no, never mind. We'll just uh, we'll just throw everything at that last building. Probably don't need to, but I'd rather destroy it than have to worry about it in the future. Okay, let's try and take out that Orion. We've we've still got a very good line of sight on it. Put our last laser on. That was amazing. We hit it with like everything there. There's still a turret there, um, whipping lasers at our battle master. Okay, that's some nasty hits on the Annihilator. Vulcan. Oh no. Uh, I mean, that's fine. The Vulcan is going to generate heat, but we're in the water. This is like a... Not the kind of battle you send a Vulcan into, I think. Okay, we want to get out of there really sucks that we can't hit anything. How come we can't hit anything? 
because it's I guess we're out of range so we're just gonna have to sprint back uh we should be able to hit the Vulcan I feel like there are better things to hit Vulcan's got like the best evasion right now we'll throw a precision shot at it why not I mean at this point we can almost precision shot like every single round and it doesn't matter and we got a lot of medium lasers on that yeah let's hit it in that right torso we missed with the ppc that sucks we did knock off the right arm that was the goal Same for the head, why not? We knocked another part off it. Uh, at this point, I don't think it has anything left to worry about. So let's just like try and uh, hit something else like a Wolverine. And this one seems like the more like dangerous of the two targets. I'll take off the UAC so that the, it can recover from the um, recoil. Well, you it can still hit us. Good lord. Other Wolverine. Wow, the Annihilator's really taking everything right now. Okay, let's uh let's absolutely destroy this thing. Got it. Done. That's a kill. Well, are you gonna torch me? No, it's got nothing. It's got actually nothing. We'll do a multi-hit here. Um, I guess I'll dedicate the PPC to the Vulcan just to try and take it out. That's something. I was hoping to take out the Vulcan, but that's fine. We can, um... Eh, I'd rather do the gauze rifle on the uh, Wolverine. Yes, Commander. I am kind of shocked that it took all of that. On the move. Um, we can only hit the Wolverine. If I could hit the Vulcan, I would. done so it's just the poor vulcan left with the with the torso the walking torso it is gonna do some damage no it missed <laughs> that's probably because i hit it with the ppc hey let me let me uh go ahead and swing back actually we only have a 50 percent chance of hitting here uh, let's just let, let's just like kill it Uh, we still have to get to the LZ. What's left? Oh, I guess the turrets. Oh, God. I don't really want to have to take care of the turrets or go to the LZ. But I guess if I was going to choose one, it would to be to, to kill the turrets. Receiving you. Dang. What's up, boss? What's up, boss? All right, let's, um, we can't really do anything this round, but I'll move in Decker on the next round and, uh, sensor lock some stuff. Receiving you. I copy. I kind of don't like this part. I've got a sensor lock. Like, there's no reason to have to destroy those turrets. If anything, it would make more sense to, like, leave them as is. Oh, this is going to take so long. Yes, Commander. 
Um, and we are almost out of rockets on our long range Highlander. That really sucks. We didn't even take it out. Waiting for orders. Okay, I'm just gonna make make a break for the LZ. Pointing. Sort of god, if they get a shot on the annihilator from there. Good to go. I'm just gonna I'm gonna save you the heart you know the having to watch this because this is this is not gonna be interesting. I'm just gonna be sprinting and like passing turns. So I'll see you on the mission uh at the mission end. All right. Was oh, what? What do you mean? What? Confirmed. There we go. It wasn't as bad as I thought. As soon as I got out of range of the turrets, then I was able to sprint everyone at once. Okay, uh, we got a something for our trouble. Um, no one lost anything, so zero cost to repairs, which is nice. Anything good here? I mean, we could build... We could almost build a Phoenix Hawk. Can't build a Sh Shadow Hawk. Can't build a... Oh, we could build a Wolverine. But I'd rather have, like, an AC 10++, you know? Like, that is, like, more valuable. M plus plus. Um, geez, really slim pickings here, actually. Um, I guess I'm gonna forg. I have enough M plus pluses, I think. I'm just gonna build a mech and then sell it. We did get an Orion part, which is nice. Got the, a Phoenix part, a Shadowhawk part, got the AC. We did get the M++, so I didn't need to cherry pick it. Nice. That's that's quite good. I'm hoping that our next campaign mission will be available now. We'll see. No? Come on. Uh, no? Please? God, the loading in this game is actually outrageous sometimes. I know I've been kind of picking on it. There we go. Lanny Arano's uh, contract to repel the Torian assault on Panzer is ready for review in the command center. We should follow up when you think we're ready. Perfect. Cool. Um, we're going to need to do some mech repairs. I don't think that's true, actually. No one took any major damage, so I'm not sure what mechs are going to need repairs. Unless you're talking about like the no, you're not talking about the blackjack. You're not talking about the marauder. So what are you talking about? One thing I will do is um, on the awesome, we are gonna put on the other PPC. I wouldn't mind taking it out. I, I've been kind of like very unkind to the awesome since I've outfitted the annihilator, and I've been really enjoying the annihilator. So, you know, I don't think that that's necessarily wrong. Um. But now that we have three PPCs with stability damage, this thing is going to be amazing. Um, I think the only thing that's kind of letting us down at this point is the Highlander, but I'm probably wrong about that. If we could put another gauze rifle on it, it would, I think, be amazing. Um, I think it would be more valuable than the LRMs, but right now it's just serving as our long range. I do think that the King Crab is okay, but I think it could stand to be better. I'm not sure how I would go about doing that, but... Who knows? Um, let's check to see if our mech warriors got any XP from that. Probably glitch can level can up. No, actually. Big simple no. Okay. Decker? Mm, not really. Mandrake, kind of. Okay, so that, yeah, never mind. Um, so we are going to head towards our next campaign mission. I don't think that there's any reason not to do it basically right away. They pay out the best and they are the most interesting missions in the game. IMO. Um, so it's always worth doing that. You're speaking to Yang in the mech bay when the yelling starts. Across the bay, a pair of the mech warriors face off in front of a battle mech. You get there just as Decker pulls back 
to throw a punch at glitch yo glitch is like mvp why would you do that send them to settle things in the simulators decker always gets low spirits it's hilarious you raise your voice and both mech warriors turn to you decker's fist relaxing if you mech warriors have a dispute settle it in the battle pods frankly you both need the practice the mech warriors grumble and wander off you hear later that from yang that glitch absolutely trashed decker just destroyed him in the simulated battle and that decker has been moping ever since decker did just did get some more experience though so that's kind of nice it's like nothing though no like not very like it's it's fine if we were about to level up but we weren't so okay so this will end the episode i'm gonna make my way to the next contract and we'll we'll do it i might take uh, the uh, awesome on the next contract instead of I guess I would trade out the Highlander, maybe? I do want to try the, uh, the, you know, three stability damage PPCs. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, the only other alternative is instead of the Highlander. What, what was that? What is the fourth mech that I've been using? Um, is the Crab, the Annihilator. We're keeping those two. And then there's the Highlander, and I can't remember the last mech that we've been using. The Battle Master. Yeah, maybe we swap out the Battle Master. It's nice, but I don't think it's three PPCs with stability damage nice. It does have that Narc Beacon, though. I really haven't been noticing a big difference on the Narc Beacon. It says plus 75% damage to Mark. Maybe it means I have to, like, do specific hits like if i threw it on the torso if it hit the torso then maybe it would do you know more damage is, is taken to the torso but let me see can the awesome can take a missile but it, it's you know quite a lot of weight to put that narc beacon on there so I, we would have to forego some heat sinks and i really don't want to have to do that i guess we could take off the small laser but that doesn't really buy us a lot Really sucks that we didn't get that TTS before I lost access to the black market. Oh well. Um, all right, well, if you're enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Uh, yeah, we'll do this next time. Take it easy.